Hey there, in this under five minutes tech tip on Oracle Cloud, I'm going to cover one of the most common question being asked both in our private Facebook group that is k20academy.com forward slash cloud FB as well as our training program DBA to Cloud DBA in four weeks that is does Oracle Cloud supports a rack and if yes, what option I need to select in order to install Oracle rack. So if you're watching this video and looking at the title, you might have guessed by now that it's possible to install Oracle Rack. We cover in our training that's k21academy.com forward slash cloud, where we cover this topic in detail with step by step instructions. So let me connect directly on Oracle Cloud and show you how to create a two node Rack instance in under five minutes. So I'm on database cloud service console and I'm on a create service page. I'll specify the service name as K21 Academy Rack. Description is whatever description you want to specify. Then you're going to select Oracle database cloud service. You specify the metering frequency. I'm going to select hourly because I don't want to be charged. Then you specify which database release. I'm going to select a release two. Then you specify or make sure you select Enterprise Edition Extreme Performance. And then you will get an option whether you want to configure just Rack or database clustering with Rack and Standby. I'm going to select just Rack. Hit Next. So then on the next page, which is Details, you specify the database name. I've selected K21 Rack. Then you specify the PDB name. And the minimum thing to note is or minimum compute node you need is two node you or two CPU. You can't select single CPU or three. It should be the two, four, six. So we select the minimum two. Then you specify SSH public keys that you have created in advance. In backup, you can specify whether you want backup or not. For now, I'll not select any backup. Hit next. And you verify the details and hit submit. Then on the next page, you will see the summary and you will see status as it's creating a service for Rack. You can click on this link, which is the name of your service that you created earlier. That's k Academy Rack. And if you notice here, it is creating two machines, one with Rack 1 and second is Rack 2. Right now, we don't have any public IPs because service is yet to be created. It's a two node rack, four CPU, 30 gig memory, and 256 disk, disk space. It's 1212 database with enterprise edition extreme performance. What is extreme performance or what options you have for options? And we've covered this in our blog on k 20 academycom forward slash blog. At bottom, it will show you the progress. So if you see in it showing me created the compute resource, SSH to both node one and two connected, created successfully. Now it's creating the rack instance. It will take roughly around one hour. So let me go and have some tea and come back in one hour's time. So I'm back within one hour gap. I can see that rack instance is created successfully. I get my two public IPs. If I want, I can now connect to these machines using SSH key or the private key that I created earlier. And if I want, I can you can start and stop these individual servers or services or instances, or I can shut down the entire service, which is Oracle database cloud service. So congratulations, you have created your first Rack database instance on cloud in under five minutes. My name is Atul Kumar from K21 Academy. And if you need more further detail, join our private Facebook group that is k21academy.com forward slash cloud FB, which is Facebook. And if you want to move from DBA to cloud DBA in just under 30 days, then have a look at our course k 20 academycom forward slash cloud. I Atul Kumar with my team at k 20 Academy will see you next week with next under five minutes tech tip on Oracle Cloud.